The best way of demonstrating dance is to show a little visual. So if we can go to the video, I'm going to take a little bit of your time, three minutes, and we'll just talk about the emerging view of the dance. So here you're looking at lymphocytes, right? Traveling down the bloodstream, binding through their membrane receptors, the cellular architecture, creating signals through the bilayer of the membrane from the laminar structure, creating architectural changes in lipoproteins. You see the lipid ramps. These lipid ramps are transport proteins that are involved with cholesterol, phospholipids, that then engage the internal workings of the cell with the outside activity. That signals from the uh, actin and myosin fibril, uh, neurofibril network to create then messages that transduce through the cell. This is called intracellular signal transduction. It travels down through this lattice network, this gelatinous structure, to ultimately reach the deep structures of the cell, the various organelles, the lysosome, the mitochondria, the ribosome, and ultimately the nucleus. This is constantly being reformed and regenerated all the time in real time. It's not static, it's dynamic. It's being responded to in, in part by the environment itself. As you have this kind of recreation process occurring, it's recreating itself in the context of the environment that is changing. As the fibrils are made and, 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 and then broken down and then remade, it's reforming the cellular architecture to engage in a new phenotype. You have these transport molecules that are transporting throughout the cell these extraordinary new machinery that's going to produce the new phenotype of the cell in response to its changing environment. And as the information then is transduced into the internal portion of the cell, the cell is this plastic environment that's dynamically changing the molecular configuration to respond, in fact, to those new environmental conditions. And in so doing, you're producing new proteins at ribosomes. You're producing new uh, post-translational protein alteration by phosphorylation, glycation, uh, oxidation. These proteins then travel to various organelles, like the mitochondria, the energy powerhouse of the cell, where they in, in, enhance bioenergetics. Or they may, in fact, uh, move themselves into the cellular membrane, where they translocate and become part of a, a plum pudding model of the cell membrane to become antennae that will pick up new messages from the outside environment that transduce new information to the cell. The cell is a constantly dancing, changing, morphing, altering, dynamic process that's creating a rhythmic response to a changing environment. And eventually it leads to the expulsion of various proteins that send outside signals. These might be cytokines, these might be prostaglandins, these might be hormones that then send distant messages to altered parts of the body as all of this rhythmic dynamic process occurring. It is a demonstration that we are in a constant dance, that what we think is static is not. It is all dynamic, it's all holographic. Every cell is in connected connection to every other cell. It's that rhythmic, particular process that ultimately leads to the regulation and physiological response of which cancer is embedded in that metastable emergent structure.